Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll talk about IDLE. IDLE stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. Python IDLE is an IDE that comes bundled with the Python standard distribution. This IDE lets you write, debug and run your code with ease. It serves as a convenient tool for writing, testing and debugging Python code. It is extremely user friendly, especially for beginners due to features like intelligent indentation and highlighting. For example, this is a Python program written in Python IDLE. Here you can see this program looks so colorful. Here you can see different colors are used for different purpose. For example, Keywords are written in orange colors and built-in functions are written in purple color. Strings are in green color and here font and font style also looks better. And also you can change color or font style according to your preference. You can create your own theme. You can create a comfortable working environment. Alright, so today we'll discuss about that. That is how to configure Python ideally. For that you need to install Python IDLE. As I said Python IDLE comes bundled with Python standard distribution. So no need to install it separately. When you install Python in your system, IDLE also comes with it. To use Python IDLE, just go to the search menu and type IDLE and press enter. And here you can see Python shell. So in the IDLE you can run and write Python programs in interactive mode as well as in the script mode. Python shell in IDLE provides an interactive environment to run Python code and uh, the script mode allows you to write the Python code and save it to the file and then you can run that file from the Python shell. So in the previous tutorial we discussed about this. Today we want to configure Python IDLE. So for that you need to go to the option menu and click on this configure IDLE option. You can do this in the shell window or in the file window. So here go to option configure IDLE click on that. Here we can see settings window. The first tab is fonts and here you can change the font style font size as well as if you want bold fonts then here you can choose that or you can get the regular font. Here the current font style is Korean new and if you want you can change it to any new style here and you need to click on apply and ok and here you can see font style is changed. This is the font sample here you can see how our font looks. Here you can change the size. Now my font size is 25. You can change it to 7, 8 or 40 whatever size you want. And here if you want bold font select this. If you don't want uncheck this. So you will get regular font. In this way you can change the font and font style. Ok so the next tab is highlights. Here you can change the highlighting theme. Either you can use built-in theme or you can create your own custom theme. Here to use built-in theme, here you can see built-in theme is selected. And if you click here, here you can see ideally classic, ideally dark, ideally new. If you want light theme, then you can choose ideally classic, apply and ok. And our ideally is now ready to use. Or if you want dark theme, here you can choose ideally dark, apply and ok. Or if you want to create your own highlighting theme, then you can do that. For that first here you can go here, click on this tab. You can change the color of normal code, text or uh, keywords, python definition, built-ins here. For example, if I want to change the color of normal code or text, click on this and go to choose color for and here you can choose any color for example I'll choose this color ok here you need to enter a name for your new custom theme I'll just take name as Amul here you can see yellow color now for normal code or text 
You can change the background color of normal code or text. For that, click on this background button and choose color for. You can choose any color. Okay. In the same way, you can change the color of Python keywords. Foreground, choose color for. Choose any color. For example, black. And if you want to change the background color, go here. Choose color for. Okay. In this way, you can create your own theme. Here, you can choose the area in which you want to change the color. And you can change the color of that using this option. Choose color for. And after creating your own theme, here we can see a custom theme is selected. And our custom theme name is Amul. Then apply. Okay. Now here you can see your ideally. This is the editor window. If you want to see the Python shell, here you can see. In this way, you can create your own custom theme. If you want built-in theme, go here and here you can choose any dark theme or light theme and select that. Click on apply and OK. And here if you want to delete your custom theme, just click on this and here delete custom theme. Yes. OK, so this is about highlights tab. Here you can create your own custom theme or you can use built-in themes. Okay, so the next tab is keys. Here you can see shortcut keys for different actions. Here we are using built-in key set. Here we have different option in built-in key set. Ideal classic Mac, ideal classic Unix, ideal classic Windows. Here you can see. Here ideal classic Windows is selected now. And if you come here, custom key bindings, here you can see different action and uh, keys for that action. Just for an example, if you want to copy the text, you can use control C. To cut the text, you can use control X. So if you want to see which keys are used for a particular action, you can check out this keys tab. And also you can create your own key set. You can create a custom key set. You can create a new key for an action. For that, first click on that action like this. And here, get new keys for selection. And here you can choose Control, Alt or Shift. I'll choose Control. And here I'll choose 1. Okay. And click on OK. Here, enter a name for your new custom key set. Okay. Now here we can see. We are using a custom key set. The theme name is A. In that, to go to the beginning of line, we are using control key 1. I'll show you how it works. I'll just give apply and OK. And our cursor is here now. If I want to go to the beginning of line, I need to press control 1. And here you can see cursor is here. OK. So in this way, you can create your own custom key set. For that, first choose the action. Just like if I want to change the key of uh, this check module, click on this, then go to get new keys for selection and select new keys, create new theme, just apply and OK and you are done. And here also, if you want to use built in key set, select this. And if you want to delete this custom key set, then just click on this delete custom key set. Yes. All right. So this is about keys. Next is Windows. In this tab, Window Preferences. First is at Startup, Open Edit Window or Open Shell Window. That is when you open ideally, whether you want to open the Shell Window or Edit Window. If you want to open Shell Window, you need to choose this option. If you want to open Edit Window, you need to click on this option. For example, I want to open Shell Window when I open the ideally. So for that, I'll choose open shell window, apply and OK. That is the default settings. And if I open ideally now, and here we can see the shell window. Here, if you want edit window, then you can choose this option, apply and OK. Close this, open ideally. And here you can see the edit window. When I open my ideally, it will open the edit window. All right. The next is you can change the size of uh, window. Width is 80 now, height is 40. You can change this. 
and indent space 4 by default it is 4 you can change this also and here you can see cursor blink if you want cursor blink you can choose this option if you don't want just click on this apply and ok cursor won't blink here you can see this right if you want cursor blink click on this option you can do experiment with this okay so this is about windows you can change the size or which window to open when you start the ideally indent space cursor blink we have many option here the next is shell or editor preference first is shell preferences auto squeeze minimum lines default value is 50 auto squeeze will reduce large amounts of text to single button which can be clicked to view the text and uh, this is helpful when you have script which is producing with multiple lines of output so that is here now we can see our auto squeeze minimum lines is uh, 50 okay so, so in the shell i'll just type help and str it will give all the information about str string then i'll press enter and here we can see squeezed text as the output if i want to see the output now that means if I want to expand it, you need to double click on that or right click for more information. Just like view here, you can see the output or you can double click on this to expand this output. It has 446 lines and the default value for uh, auto squeeze is 50. That's why it will squeeze the text. If you don't want this button as the output, then here you can increase this lines for example 500 it has 446 line right that's why apply and ok it won't squeeze the text all right okay so next let's talk about editor preference at start of run that is when you press f5 prompt to save or no prompt that is now here we can see prompt to save is selected and now if I do any changes to my program, just for example, I'll just use print function. Okay. If you go to run option and run your program or if you press F5, you can see this window. Source must be saved. Okay to save this window, right? If you don't want to see this window, here you can select no prompt. Apply and okay. Now if I do any changes here and i won't save the file i'll go run run module i'll go to run and run module you didn't see any prompt here we didn't see any prompt asking us to save our file this option is all about that if you want the prompt to save or no prompt and next is show line numbers in the new windows if you want line numbers in your program then you can select this option apply and ok when you open new window or new file here you can see the line numbers line numbers are helpful to find the errors in your program all right so this is about how to add line numbers in your program the next is max context lines and the default value is 15 this is actually about the size of code context window the code context show you the scope of loops class etc you can increase the size of the code context window or decrease the size of code context window using this option all right then is last tab that is extensions extensions are wonderful additions improvements to the editor or interpreter windows it adds extra functionalities to the ideally okay so this is about how to customize python ideally and uh, that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care